I already told uh, I already told uh, everybody that we'll slap you around for it later. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Snake me hard enough, because that's the way I like it. <laughs> they don't call me Dirty Dank for nothing. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You gotta live up to your name. Exactly. Exactly. I seen you guys were talking about Doom. Everybody's excited for Doom. Yep. Yeah, we did. Uh, been covering most of the obligatory games like Overwatch and all that that came out, but I have to talk ab about Doom at some point because it's one of the best shooters I've played in forever. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, we haven't had a game like that since Team Fortress 2. I know that Overwatch is kind of oh, yeah, replicating man. that, so they're trying to... Uh, that's like... You know, we haven't had something like that. It was like Unreal Tournament. I know Unreal Tournament, they're doing something um, on the lines of having a free-to-play online on the computer. Mm -hmm. But, like, we haven't had a game like that in a very long time. You know what I'm saying? No, we haven't. We're going to be able to... That free-play, arcade-ish um, um, multiplayer that we have not experienced since the early Halo days, which Halo has kind of, like, gotten away from. That's my, uh, other, my other thing. Uh, they said they were teasing about remaking a quake in the same style they did doom and if Dude. they do that i will be so <laughs> unbelievably happy you and me both man i love quake i remember spending hours playing quake man when i was a kid just just bringing friends over playing quake before everybody like a lot, a lot of people knew about quake so I, like, i'd bring my friends over and be like what are we playing today and i'd be like i want to play quake over halo 2 and stuff like that like that's that's what we would play mm-hmm Absolutely. So yeah, they were. That was the big news article I read today. Was they're teasing, entertaining that idea, and I'm like, if there is a god, please, right now, do this for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah. You beat me to the tweet. I was about to tweet it out. Bam, Petra, <laughs> I am on top of this shit today. Yes, you are, dude. I, I don't know why it's weird, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I've been so busy lately, dude, man. Like, I just wish I had a break. Just a little break between work and... Yeah, how long did you say you've been working lately? 12 days straight. So anybody in here from my stream, I apologize. Let me hit you up for the host here. You should be on my host already. Yeah, you are. Good. Um, but yeah, I've been working 12 days straight. Um, I worked a double in the middle of that. And last night, I, dude, I slept for like 12 hours. <laughs> oh, I, I, I imagine so. <laughs> Me and my girlfriend were going to go swimming today, but I woke up and I was just like, I'm nope. back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I love you and everything, but nope. <laughs> Get your, God, I can't, great. I can't imagine that. That's crazy. Dude, it's, it's, I mean, I work, it wasn't bad. I work about... 11 days straight maybe about 70 hours when we have our in-house events at my job and that alone just kicks my ass so it's kicking the nuts after you're kicking the nuts that's pretty much what it is <laughs> it's one of those things where i'm very quickly reminded why i'm addicted to caffeine <laughs> oh man like yep i need coffee not a surprise so what all of uh Aside from working, have you gotten a chance to play any games recently? Recently, I've been um, I've been mostly focused on Rocket League, trying to get better so I can compete uh, with some of my uh, CGN people. Nice. They've been having some CGN tournaments and stuff like that, so mm -hmm. I'm getting a little bit better at that. Um, gonna be hopping into WoW a little bit more because the expansion about to come out, so I'm gonna yep. start leveling some characters, get get ready for that. I know everybody's excited for that. Uh, my heart was broken yesterday when I got the news that No Man's Sky will be um, delayed. Delayed. Uh, yep. That right there, that put that put an arrow like right in my knee, man. It just it did because I pre-ordered <laughs> that bitch already. I was so excited. I but I think um, what is that new one? Star Citizen. I've been checking that out. Star Citizen. Mm -hmm. I heard that that's gonna be like that game's gonna change everything, and between yeah. that and No Man's Sky, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of games that can compete with that. Um, I haven't played Overwatch yet. I'm one of those people that have not gotten into the hype with that yet because we've had so many good games out lately between Doom and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's hard to focus on one, like because I'm one of those kind of people that I'm very ADD. Mm -hmm. Something's got my attention. 
but this hasn't grabbed my attention yet. And I'm one of those gamers. I have so many games. I try to get them all completed before I start into it. Yeah. And I don't like to stream all the popular games at that time because it's right. hard to compete with other people streaming those big games. Like you got your big time streamers streaming Overwatch right yeah. now. And you can't compete with that. You should I mean, have seen the Overwatch release day. Oh How many God. people? Oh, it was, it was, it was it was just crazy. stupid to jump into that fray and try it's and crazy. stream it. And and it's hard to share. I mean, I don't mind sharing views and stuff like that, but it's really hard to share, you know, views with people like, you know, Ice Prime, you know, he's one of our good friends and stuff like that. He was oh, big yeah. into Overwatch and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you want to support them as well. So like you know what I mean? You don't want to comp I, it's not like a competitive thing for me. It's more right. like I respect you enough that, you know, I'm not even going to I can't compete with somebody like them. <laughs> They're yeah. partnered and stuff like that. So yeah, but yeah. I mostly, you know me, I mostly focus on MMOs, so um I know tonight I might hop on some Black Desert. I put it down for a little bit because of um, some issues with that I had with it. But I'm going to give it a try. Once a month I go back to games. Uh, my viewers you know, want me to play a game, and lately I've been playing Terra. Mm -hmm. uh, I do once a month. I go back to MMOs. I got this idea from one of my friends, DJ Tech Live. Uh, he goes back once a month, and he's an MMO streamer. He goes right. back once a month and plays games that people no longer play or not as hyped as they used to be. Mm -hmm. And um, games like Terra and uh, Rift. Rift is what got me my my view, most of my viewers and most of my followers. So you'll see me hop back on that most of the time. But uh, they have a new, I think they have a new expansion coming out. They haven't said anything, but I'm telling you something about Tryon. I am. Try on it's a love hate relationship between Arc Age, <laughs> games like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Trove was great. Um, Def uh, Defiance was a great game too. Um, but the thing with the thing with Try on is they like to compete with WoW, which you can't you can't compete with Blizzard, man. You you can't do that. So mm -hmm. um, I think that they're gonna probably throw an expansion at us right either right before or right after Legion. Which is going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but I think they got something up their sleeve. Tryon usually does. But. Right. I think everybody's hyped for WoW, a new expansion. I think it's make or break for a lot of people. Like, this is it. Like, mm -hmm. if you give us a good expansion, we're coming back. But if not, we're done with this game. I think that's what a lot of people are at that point. And I, I, just, I just know from word of mouth, because I'm a person that just got into WoW like a month ago, mm -hmm. surprisingly. Um, but all my friends got me into it. My referral friend got me into it, and now he doesn't even play it. So <laughs> but, <laughs> that's what happens. But but no, I'm really excited because the Legion trailer is what got me into playing WoW. Because right. I was like, wow, this looks fucking great. So I'm really excited for that. I know a lot of people are excited for that as well. I don't, are you? You're a WoW player too, aren't you? Oh no, I'm not. No, no, no. I, I, I am. not <laughs> not for the fact that. Oh hey, Adris, you're gonna join us now. <laughs> Um, not. It's more just because of the type of game it is and how much time it takes to play it that I don't because I've already had so many, so many different games like Diablo that I was heavily into, and then by the time I started in entertaining the idea of playing WoW, um, I got exposed to StarCraft and Heroes of the Storm, and Final Fantasy XIV came out, which is a very time-consuming MMO. And so I just never got into it. But the lore is one of my favorite things about WoW. And I think that's what they've been lacking the most in these past expansions. They've been kind of eh on the story scale. And the Legions, at least so f from what I've seen, promises to be a lot better on that front. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Um, I mean, you can't throw that? pandas into a game and call that lore. Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> they, really, they really, really struck a nerve with a lot of people when they did that, which was really ballsy. It no was. No pun intended. It, it was. Um, <laughs> Not the kind I approve, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just a lot of games. A lot of games do that. And I don't know if you guys are big uh, shooters. Um, I follow a lot I of I shoot people all the time. You guys, you guys excited for the new Battlefield? How about that trailer, man? I, I have, have not actually movie. seen it. The Battlefield 1 trailer, it just takes a poop on Call of Duty. I, it just, I'm, yeah, it definitely does. It does it. I'm hesitant on any of those games anymore, because I'm and, sick yeah. of them. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something about Origin and EA. When they come out with a shooter with Battlefield, I have always bought premium, and I've never been upset. 
I've never been upset. Like I know for example, I know for like if they say, hey, look, this game's coming out October, blah blah blah. It might be two years that you're waiting for every Battlefield, but it makes sense mm -hmm. because True. when you get that game, you are getting your your money's worth, and you get premium. I think premium was like seventy five dollars last time I bought it. <sighs> Those guys are still. They they made an expansion like four or five months ago, and I'm like, this game's been out for a year and a half. You don't see games do that anymore. Mm -hmm. But. I don't know. I'm really excited for Battlefield. I mean, they, they listened to the people. They said, we're going to go back in time instead of this future crap yeah. to the point yeah, where yeah. Um, to the point where uh, like you're going into space, and that's going to turn like Halo. Like, mm -hmm. I, I think it's really sad. My One of my biggest complaints about those isn't the game itself. It's the platforms. Like, Origin is really trying to compete with Steam, and that drives me absolutely crazy, because it's so stupid to do at this point. They're way yeah. behind in trying to take that market, and I don't see why they're pushing that so hard. And so at this, I'm at a point where if I want those games for the PC, which I normally don't buy them for, I'll stick with them console, I don't really care. But if I do, I'm going to have 17 million different launchers all to play each one of these games. I mean, even The Sims 4 has a damn launcher that belongs to it, and that just drives me up a wall. Yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. Um, I don't really focus on Origin. Um, I probably won't buy any more games on Origin unless I get them on, like, a Humble Bundle or something. Mm -hmm. It's just the system is really crappy. And like you said, you can't compete with Steam. You really can't. And uh, it, since they... I know that they used to release games on... Uh, Steam that were EA before that they came out with Origin, but I know they don't do it anymore. I don't think, do they? No, they don't. At least it's pretty rare when they do. I mean, I think you play still runs through Steam, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did for the Division. Yeah, I seen that. I got the Division on the PC, but I have like I have no urge to play it for some reason. I was gonna say, Adris, what's your take on Division? Because I played it and it turned into a I, grind fest, uh, and I got <laughs> bored. Uh, I liked it till they did the nerf and said, uh, "Oh, you got to uh, have, you know, was, how many was it? It was like three times as many for to change things over, like for the crafting materials." Right. When they did that big nerf because of all the exploiters. That mm -hmm. we're going through and glitching and doing stuff like that. They punished everybody for what these few people were doing. I heard about yeah. that, yeah. They didn't seem to think that it was, you know, bad what they did. They just kept going with it. And that right there is like turned me off. I'm like waiting for the salvation update. The salvation update. <laughs> The we worry. fucked up, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we really fucked up, sorry about that. <laughs> Even if they snuck it in, I mean, that that would be good. Right. Even if they yep. snuck it in and said, oh, we were just playing, this was a joke. Was, you, know, <laughs> you know what I hate it about it? I think Angry Joe said it best. I don't know if you've seen his review on it. But he said that yeah. he was really pissed off, and I had the same problem. Is when I went into the uh, headquarters, and this dude looked exactly like I did. There's no <laughs> character customization. How, like, this guy looks exactly like I do, you know what I mean? He's mm -hmm. 20 levels ahead of me, and he looks the same exact way I do. You know what I mean? It, there's no, like, it doesn't seem like there's no character progression. Yeah. Um, but I haven't yeah, played it since definitely. launch, so. It's really weird, but, options, like, Destiny's last big update that they had, it had content, expanded on some content, but really it's n nothing too great, but they did made a big deal about customer <laughs> customer character <laughs> customization like a yeah, really yeah. big deal about it. they did like a an hour-long stream just on what all you could do to customize and it's like okay so that's that's important to people you guys are well, just now realizing that great <laughs> you're exactly right it, like, the thing that's like blizzard's known people. skins have been important for how many yeah. years now <laughs> very long time very long time and the thing about Ubisoft is, is they're they're hurting themselves because every single time, like look at Watch Dogs, you look at The Vision, they have not produced what they said that they were going to produce and give out for us. Like, I know that Watch Dogs was like supposed to be like the greatest game. Like they they delayed it for so long, and literally you seen the commercials, and when it came out, it's like wow, this is nothing. What the it commercials said. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, I I I, I, I pushed myself through the campaign and beat it. 
Um, so I hope that they listen to the uh, listen to the consumers as us and like do something different in the next one. I know they're doing a whole different character and stuff like that, which is a good route. But the thing with Ubisoft is, is like, I know that they 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 promise too much and don't deliver. Is the problem. That's so, that's why I'm hesitant yeah. about being excited for that or for Titanfall too. I'm like both uh, of you guys yeah, brought I, great I ideas. From here there. <laughs> I I just. <laughs> I just can't. I I appreciate what they wanted to do with it. I love the ideas of the games. Don't get me wrong. They just didn't think about the future of gaming. Because when you come out with games now, you can't just be like, this is going to be a popular for a month and then we're done. You have to think about releasing content for that game for a year or more. And I think that's something that Titanfall really shot itself in the foot with, is they didn't consistently keep people coming back to it with new stuff. Exactly. Sorry. Yeah, it took too long. Yeah, that's it. Way too long. Way yeah. longer than what it should have. Mm -hmm. I love that game, and I, I yeah, me too. I want, you know, I want Titanfall too. But I'm just hoping that they keep with their promise of releasing it on Steam rather than just Origin exclusive. Oh. They had oh. that in their contract with EA for the first one, but they said that for whenever Titanfall two came out. It was not going to be exclusive, but I'm just wondering if they're going to backpedal off of that or if they're going to actually follow through with what they said. Yeah. And that's that's the thing. That's the most important thing for these developers is to give us what we want. Like, just listen to us. That's all we're asking for, you know, and that's I think that's what's going to hurt Call of Duty mostly is, you know, <laughs> Activision and stuff like because Activision doesn't care what people think. They know that they're going to throw something out there and people are going to buy it and eat it up, you know, just because of the name. You know, and they don't care about they don't care about what people think. And even the developer for Call of Duty even said that he came out and said people are still going to buy our product because of the name. And it, it yeah. needs to something needs to change about that, because you look at it now, the games are so saturated between being the same thing. You know what I mean? All these games coming out and they're all copy paste of another game or, or we can't have the good times that we used to have when we used to play Halo and all that kind of stuff, because we have so many games out there are like that. That's what I've been experiencing lately. There hasn't been a game that's really grabbed me and said, hey, you need to play me every day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Doom. Yeah, Doom, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that, that has honestly been that game for me, and it's been incredibly <laughs> refreshing, because you're, you're right. There have been a good amount of games that I'll be entertained and play good for a couple weeks or so, and then just be like, okay, next. Exactly, exactly, and that, I think that people need to, you know, I think developers need to look back and be like, hey, we gotta do something different. And I think, I think people have seen that in Overwatch. I think Overwatch is going to be one of those games that people are going to play for you know a long time. But that's that's what Blizzard does. They're gonna they're gonna make a game that you know people are going to play for a while. They have brilliant people there. They have you know great marketing and all that kind of stuff. So, so here's my take on that, which I think is really stupid for some people trying to fight it. Is Blizzard has done something incredibly smart with the games they make, and that is almost all of them are esports worthy almost yep. all of them are competition games and i know they're trying to do the same exact thing with overwatch and so anybody who hasn't secured their self in that market is just not going to get very far because they already have i mean starcraft has been around way, since esports became a thing um diablo still gets pretty competitive with the seasons Hearthstone, I don't know how that gets so many views on Twitch, but it beats right. out Call of Duty sometimes. I have no fucking idea how, but it does. And You're so right, anybody to go against Blizzard with a game like that, I just is not a smart move. It's not. Blizzard's way too way too smart. I did a video on it um, previously on the Battleborn and Overwatch issue because you know for you know for a fact that when Battleborn announced its release that Overwatch was like, let's have our open beta right right, right on that release because it knew it could shit all over that. And so <laughs> Blizzard is not someone you mess with. And oh, Battleborn yeah. tried to do that because on the uh, Overwatch release day, Battleborn, I guess, released two new heroes or characters or something and had a small DLC release on the release date of overwatch and i'm like no you don't do that you start that battle and you're gonna get your ass handed to you real fast <laughs> they got exactly creamed. <laughs> they got creamed really bad and that game dropped i guess tremendously at GameStop. i guess they were talking about how much it dropped and all that stuff i played the beta um i did not play the beta for overwatch i was too busy working but i played the uh 
the uh, beta for uh, Battleborn, and I, you know, kind of enjoyed it. But I'm not a MOBA player, so that kind of thing, uh, it's just not really me. You know what I mean? Uh, but Overwatch, I heard, is completely different. It's got the Team Fortress 2 vibe and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited to to, to try it. See, know? that's what I think that's kind of interesting is a lot of people are saying Battleborn's like more of a MOBA-style shooter, which I hadn't thought of before, really, because I just considered them to be tactical team shooters, really, is what I called them. Yeah. Yeah. But the more I watch footage of it, the more I kind of realize that Battleborn is more on that side of it, whereas Overwatch is just a Team Fortress 2-style just here's an arena and you fight in it yeah yeah exactly exactly it'll be it'll be interesting to see what they do with the characters i know that they a lot of people are saying a lot of the characters are kind of overpowered at the moment i've been watching somebody stream like most of the people streams and that guy with the turret looks like he's op as you know what that's what we were talking about earlier but i think uh Bastion. i think if anybody's been playing heroes of the storm the past year we know how much blizzard sucks at balancing their characters because they have to repatch and reweigh and all kinds of stuff. They'll release a new character, which everybody's like, great, and they turn out to be OP as shit, so they have to bounce it, and then they do it th too far the wrong way and have to recorrect it. I mean, Blizzard's just bad about it, so I'm not surprised at all. Yeah, yeah. They, um, what was I going to say? But yeah, I was going to touch on like what you were talking about, how it's going to be eSport. Overwatch will probably be a game that you see on ESPN in about six or seven months. Guaranteed. 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 Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Already, ESPN was already picking something up. I remember seeing something about CSGO or something else on a Saturday yeah. on like yeah. ESPN. Mm -hmm. I don't get how Maybe people... It was TBS. What are they doing right now? Aren't they doing like League? Is it League or a Dota that they're doing? Um, I, I, I've called, I know that they're doing Halo. I've seen Halo there one time. I was tuned into that, but... Hey, Adris, can you turn up your mic just a little bit, if possible? Oh, hold on. <laughs> you went a little quiet when the video went away. <laughs> it's, it's because my uh, arm that I hold my mic with decided it's not going to stay up, so I'm like, oh. trying <laughs> to hold it up. Is it like slowly going down as you're talking? Oh, yeah. It, and you have to pull like it back up again? Really... <laughs> so right now, I got it like propped up with my arm and my elbow trying to hold it up. Nice. Just nice. tape it to your forehead. Problem solved. Yeah, I might or just swallow the whole thing. Or just swallow the <laughs> mic. That's fine. Uh, he's got a hat on. He's got like one of those hard hats on. He like turns his uh, video on. It's just like this. He's just. Like... <laughs> you guys hear me now? <laughs> right there. Uh, oh jeez. Oh man. So what other uh, games have you been playing recently, Cody? Um. What have I mostly... I've been playing Halo. I dip back into Halo because I used to play Halo 3 competitively. I think everybody everybody that I know that streams used to play competitively for Halo because, you know, that was that was the top game at that time. Uh, but uh, I dived back into that and been doing, doing fairly well on that, but mostly been focused on Rocket League. I'm trying to get some teams together. If you guys play Rocket League, I want to get some, uh, some teams together because it's so much better playing with friends and, you know, being strategic and stuff like that yeah i'll i'll definitely play anytime you want to i like rocket league i was actually really amused with the um last hockey update they did the, yes, it was, i was, was having fun. a lot of fun <laughs> playing that, that surprise. i so suck fun. at the basketball one but the hockey one i was doing pretty good with yeah i turned late rage monster <laughs> <laughs> that's the yeah just wait until like, i play I it at like 10 at night with friends. beer <laughs> oh jeez. i've been playing brawl hollow a lot too Oh, Brawlhalla, yeah. Yeah, it's a fun game, man. If you get a bunch of friends together and you're just having a good time drinking and, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I know last was a couple weeks ago, I was playing with my, playing with my friend Kobo Joe and we were playing, uh, he was doing a, a donation thing for kids and we were having a good time. I think we played like that game for like four to five hours and it just reminds me of the old Smash Bro days, you know. <laughs> I think everybody remembers the old Smash Bro days on the Nintendo. What do you mean? They don't exist anymore? <laughs> <laughs> they still do, but I don't like it on the, the Wii or whatever. I haven't played it, so... I actually I actually like it a lot on there, but yeah, I definitely yeah. understand what you're talking about. It's... Well, at my job, we have it on the Wii, mm -hmm. the original Wii. I don't know how the new oh, one yeah. is, because I don't have the new Wii. Um, I've looked into the Wii U, and it looks pretty pretty dope, actually. I know it's, that. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, it... My biggest problem is... You have to buy it with games in mind because Nintendo's not releasing a lot of games for it, unless you live in Japan, of course. 
but a lot of developers aren't wanting to make games with it, and I think that's why they've they've said they're gonna stop production of the Wii U here soon, and oh, focus wow. on their new NX. And I think that's why they want to make something that will actually get developers besides themselves making it. Uh -huh. But the Wii U, like. The Mario Kart is phenomenal. Splatoon is one of the best shooters I've played in a long time. Really? Yeah, I amazing. loved that game. I played it for so long. They started doing uh, like countrywide tournaments out of it, and that was a blast. Um, but yeah, it's it's. I think at this point, I should probably wait until the new Nintendo thing comes out, which I'm sure they'll. Hopefully, they talk about it at E3 this year. I'm not sure, but hopefully. <laughs> I don't know what Nintendo's doing. <laughs> I'm not, because Nintendo's a very, a very uh, slow-burning ship at this point. <laughs> yeah, I, it's hard to. It's kind of like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know what to think about Nintendo. Like, because I think about Nintendo, I'm like, are they still around? You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you just don't see. And like you said, you don't see anything come out. I think I just seen something before Star Fox. I think that's the only thing I've seen on TV. And it was so they, bad. Was it? That's oh god, bad. it was so bad. It was it was something that I absolutely hate more than anything. <laughs> well, one of the things is they took one of the original Star Fox games and turned it into that same game with updated graphics uh, and motion dude. control. Really? And that just screwed it all up. So it wasn't yeah. even an original. It was like Star Fox 64, but Star Fox uh -huh. Wii U edition, basically. And Damn so it. it was, yeah, it was just, I was so upset by that. Should have just called it Definitive Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much should have at that point. Just been like, you know what, this is actually the same game, guys. Uh, you know, we kind of lied to you, but, you know, it's fine. We're Nintendo, we do what we want. Yeah. I just it's... wonder if they're going to go the way of Sega and eventually ditch the console and just turn into game development. Well, they did say that they want to, on top of video games, they want to hold a strong mobile game market, which scares the fuck out of me also. Oh, God. Because, I mean, you know, the 3DS, I actually love the 3DS. It's one of, it's a really good handheld, but I know when they say mobile gaming, they phones. mean cell phones. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know how I feel about that. Aside from Pokemon Go, I'm excited for that, like none other, but aside from that, I'm scared to know what they mean about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I signed up for the, uh, whatever it is, the test for that. I'm just waiting to see if I get in on it. Oh my god, if I do, you won't see me for a long time, because I'll actually be outside. <laughs> Where's yeah. DJ? He's getting a He's... tan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> but the thing is, is, like, I've been thinking about it lately. Are these... Are these developers, are, I mean, these companies, are they going to stay away from handhelds? Or is that something our future is going? Are we going to go straight into, like, mobile gaming and a virtual reality and stuff? Or are actually people's going to, are, are, the, are they actually going to, like, try to compete with virtual reality and mobile games? Like? I think the biggest thing that we saw a shift in, because I thought mobile gaming was going to go, like, a lot farther than it did, is the fact that televisions and monitors have really drastically started improving. Like, you've got the 4K options now, you've got 3D, yeah. you've got the new, like, curved screens, which I saw at Best Buy the other day, oh, that confused the yeah. fuck out of me. <laughs> yeah. And so, I think that's where they're kind of going, like, wait, we could do more with our consoles to give them exactly what they want. And now that virtual reality is starting to become a thing, too, I guess, who knows where that could be headed. But I don't think, I don't think handhelds are going to be around very much anymore. The mobile yeah. market, I hope it doesn't, because all that is is a pay-to-win scheme. That's all mobile gaming is right now. Yeah, yeah, it is. You're right, you're right. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see where the future goes for gaming. I, I think that we're going to still have... Um, we're still going to have our consoles, we'll still have our computers, but I don't think virtual reality is going to do very well. Um, that's something that they've tried to push into our market, and I, I don't know. I mean, it's fun. It's fun, at, you know, for the first, I guess couple days that you play it but it's something is it something that's going to stay is what i want to know like are people going to continue to play it i mean i watched videos of people playing the virtual reality and they're great for youtube videos i've watched people that play scary games and it's funny as hell to watch mm -hmm. but like are like is it something that's going to be other than you know, like i i don't understand i don't understand what could happen further with virtual reality for you know me what I'm saying? i think virtual like, reality um, right now needs to be regarded as an experience more than anything because I have had experience with uh, 
Um, oh, I can't remember. The Vive, I think, is one of them. And then Steam's version of Virtual Reality. I've seen the dev kit for that, and they are really cool, but the thing is, getting those to be in games like, you know, Black Ops ever wants to become a virtual reality just seems incredibly stupid to do, unless you're in this, like, full bubble where you're actually physically walking and running, which they do have also, but only at, like, at conventions and stuff. Yeah, I'd rather do that, but I think in terms of like I've seen a game that was one of like a, a fun house where it takes you on roller coasters and things, that's really fun. I've done the horror game before, and those are something else in virtual reality. They're totally something else. But if you're thinking about you know the games we have now turned into virtual reality, there's no way that's gonna translate well. No. I don't think. In because uh, they're built with the monitors in mind, they're not built with you know an actual room space in mind yeah true true plus it can cause a lot of damage in your house if you're playing a game yeah. like a first person shooter <laughs> virtual reality it'd yeah, be kind of fun to watch a person though <laughs> there's a commercial where the guys are like you know they're sitting there and they're like in a war scene and they i think it was actually like uh what is it a pizza roll commercial or something mm-hmm and you know, it just shows, like, they jumped and then they knocked over, like, everything. That just shows you what could possibly happen. That's, like, the minimal amount of what's going to happen. All You're I can think about is when the Wii first came out and they had all oh, the people yeah. throwing their controllers into the I TV know. screens. That's all I can think of, but just people straight up punching other people now. <laughs> oh, man. I shattered a light bulb on my ceiling one day playing a Wii. I was like 14, dude. I was playing it, and uh, we used to think that if you jumped up in the air, like when you were swinging to bowl, like if you jumped up in the air when you were like doing your back approach, like mm -hmm. the higher you went up, make the ball spin more. Oh. Uh... So like I jumped up in the air and just completely shattered the. the <laughs> and here comes the parents, and they're like, "What the hell went on?" And I'm like, "Where's Where the what? America's Funniest Home Video <laughs> video of that?" Oh my god, it it would definitely would have made money if we would have videotaped that, but. I was going to yeah. ask you if it was bowling, because yeah. bowling was the only one that I could think of that could possibly jump up and smash something. Jump up, yes, but you'd be surprised what I did when I played Wii Tennis. Dude. Oh, God. <laughs> like, you're, there's not you enough room in a living room to play that game with a friend. There's not. Can you imagine live streaming though, that back in those days, like, drunk? Oh, God. Uh, one of my friends does uh, the Just Dance games drunk, though. That's pretty good. Oh, man, that's great. It was a great that's idea. Great. I'm like, that's... I couldn't, because I could probably make it through two songs and then feel like I'm going in <laughs> anaphylactic shock or something. But Hey, they're fun to play, man. They're really fun to they play. They are, and sometimes I'm, I'm pretty good at them. Sometimes it's pretty sad, but... 